Yeah, it feels like uh, yesterday, I think I got a phone call from you um, after I'd been suspended in an under-18 game and uh, Mum said that uh, you got a phone call and news on the phone said Lee Matthews and uh, my heart did miss a beat because I think I'd just recently got two or three weeks suspension and uh, it was one of the first of many conversations that I need to uh, um, temper my anger. Well, history tells us you came to Brisbane 15 years ago, but it wasn't as quite as simple as that when you were making the decision when you were ready to be drafted. I was a big line sporter, if you try sporter, and, um, and wanted to come to Brisbane, but as a 17-year-old pick, uh, Hawthorne were really keen on taking me as their one and only 17-year-old pick, which back in those days, every club was entitled to take one 17-year-old. Of course, at the corresponding time, Brisbane Lions finished the wooden spoon just before you took over, Lee, and, and you, you guys were set on taking Des Hedlund as the 17-year-old pick with number one draft pick, and he was clearly the best player in the country, so I didn't expect the club to give up Des so they could take me, but uh, they just wouldn't commit uh, before it was time to hand in your draft uh, registration papers, and uh, so it became a choice of, do I take the risk and go in the draft, or do I take the guarantee of sitting out for 12 months of AFL football and going to the Brisbane Lions as a father-son choice. Uh, round five, I think it was, against yeah. Adelaide at the uh, Gabba was your first game. It wasn't that auspicious to do, <laughs> was it? Well, I did clean up Mark Shooter <laughs> at the first bounce, so that's been claim to fame and zero touches on the night. I did get one free kick, though, but Jared Malloy, bloody, played on and uh, <laughs> and got the advantage rule paid and I think he kicked the goal. Jonathan Brown, the young 18-year-old, one of two rookies out there for the Lions tonight. That's no problem. That's his fourth. After I went home after that first season, I thought, well, no, I need to do something to set me apart from everyone else and I need to be as fit and as strong uh, and out prepare everyone I possibly can. Brisbane have won the Premiership. So what's the most vivid memory that uh, stays with you from the Premiership era? final siren of your first premiership is you know, that feeling of euphoria and, and uh, it's unbelievable really. Uh, I do remember, I remember being in the locker room straight after the game where it was just the players and yourself and we all went around and we acknowledged each other why we you know, love playing with each other or enjoy being with, with each other, that was very vivid. Our last five quarters of football, that 2003 year was just some of the most amazing football I've been a part of. For a side that was so banged up with their backs to the wall, to come out and deliver that effort in five quarters of football, it was quite amazing. Ball, Ming Wong, we go. Oh! 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 One of the most amazing things like any of us have ever seen on the footy field. What were you thinking on the way back? Early in 2002, I got hurt and uh, I had a few injuries that year and my form had really dropped away. It was probably a little bit of an act of desperation. I was trying to um, I'm not sure stay in the side, but certainly contribute to the side. And remember as I was running along, I gave it all I could. And as I got a little bit closer, I thought, I reckon I'm a chance I can get here. And, and obviously once you make that decision, it's either you stop or you keep going. I was, and I was past the point of no return at that stage, so I had to keep going and managed to come out the other side. I often said you keep going through red lights, you eventually have a collision. Yeah. It might have been almost a decade later yeah. when one of those incidents you really knocked yourself around. Yeah, it was, and uh, you know, it was a bad one, and uh, you know, I, I got a fractured jaw around it, but that really was the minor part of the injury. It was the major head head trauma that uh, really knocked me around. I, I can't remember anything until I woke up in hospital, and football mortality stared me in the face, really, because I couldn't drive a car for a month. I, I felt unsteady on my feet. I had, um, you know, a few incidents at home where I fell over, and uh, um, so I think Kylie was even starting to question me what I was doing and even you know, six or eight weeks later on the training track we're running around I just, just didn't feel comfortable, I couldn't judge the ball probably. I'm definitely not stupid, I've definitely felt the fear but at times I, uh, I think I'd rather the consequences of maybe getting cleaned up than the embarrassment of uh, pulling yeah. out. One of the favourites, the warrior, the champion, 500 of the best for Jonathan Brown.